What's up, guys? It's your boy Real House. Coming to y'all about NBA Live 15 and what can help NBA Live 15 and EA push the game to new heights to make the game better for future NBA Live 16. I want to give a quick shout out to the NBA stream team. You know my boy Braylon, Izzy Snow, G Rod, the whole NBA Live stream team crew. I want to thank y'all because you know what y'all support it helps everybody to where we can talk all NBA live. Like, thanks God. But uh, I just want to come at y'all real quick on some topics for future patch updates that can help NBA Live 15 you know, get better and be ready for 16 and all. Of okay. My first one is controllers. The controller layout for Live 15 is cool. I guess we could keep it the same, but we need a few changes. We need to put back the dunk and layup button. Why was the dunk button back back in um in NBA Live and the X button? So was the layup button. I don't like how the, the layups and dunks is in NBA Live 15. I'm just saying, I mean passion or nothing. I just don't like it because when I want to dunk, they make me do a layup. When I want to do a layup, they make me dunk. And then when I want to do either or, they make me just pull up a regular jump. A little bit of frustration, but you know, I'm working through it or whatever. Still love it, man. Number two, they need to do on a patch, future patch update to they do this. I would love for this to happen. It's dunks and layup packages. And they should break them down into uh, three categories, power, average, and athletic. And it should have three tiers to each one. And you know, like the power dunkers, you know, like the level three is going to be like Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, you know, et cetera. And then average, you got like maybe like level one or level three, it could be like um, Kyrie Irving, you know, he ain't, he don't dunk, dunk a lot, but you know, he'd go up for maybe like a fast break or something like that. He'd go up for a one hand dunk, two hand dunk, regular dunks like that. And athletic, you know, you got the Gerald Greens and J.R. Smiths and LeBron James and all that, but I think LeBron might kind of fall in like to like power. Okay, and number three, like post up moves. We need a, a, a better post up game in NBA Live because you know it hasn't been also it's great. <laughs> I feel that should be broke down into three categories: power, you know, av the average power um post up player, average, and finesse. Finesse, I'm basically saying like footwork players like Tim Duncan, and you know, he got the. The up and under moves, and you know, he can fake you out like how I came a lot of you on the drink shakes. And I would love to see the, the post the post game get better. You know, that's up there. And number four, I would like to see them change the and try to change the dynamic of driving to the basket. I would love the driving to the basket. If it can be in um, in a patch update for Live 15, but I would love to see this in 16. It's driving to the basket like NBA Live 10. It was just the best way to drive to the hole. And, you know, you could get rid of the Y button and do drop steps. You could drop step by pressing left, right, because you know it had that, the directional driving to the basket. Like, you can press left, right, and uh, like Euro step and drop step around a player and get to the basket. I would love for that to return. Patch up date in line 15, but I'm quite sure we not gonna see that. So, get out there. Post. And I just want to touch on these parts, and I'll do some more videos on some other parts, which I have more, but I ain't got that much time. So, or right, just let me know what you guys think, and. Leave a comment down below and let me see what you guys think on topics. Art, right, I'll catch y'all later. Art, right, peace out.